Hi, poetry lovers. Welcome to another edition of Poetry for Being Made Easy by Chris Julie from Poetry Academy. Oh, you all know we'll be actually doing a series and uh, we have other videos of... Before we started, we have videos of how to set up your brooding pen, the drugs we use for brooding. And we have the one to the sixth video. This is the seventh the day of vaccination. And like I said yesterday, you can decide to give Gumbero first or Lasota first. But I prefer to give Lasota first. But then, whatever you want to give first is fine. There's no formula to that. Whatever is prevalent in your environment. A lot of persons do not use milk when they are vaccinating their beds. It's a no-no for me. It's wrong. You know why? Milk helps to reduce the chlorine content of your water and also helps in vaccine failure. So you want to use a low-fat milk like cow bear, dano milk, and all that. You can use one sachet for that two liters I'm actually going to use for this video, but I prefer to use two sachet, but you can use one. So please always use milk. It helps reduce the chlorine content in your water. And even if we say the seven is vaccination, first vaccination, please, when you get to your pain and you see that your base are sick, you have to postpone that vaccination. Do not vaccinate sick birds. It's a no-no. Do not vaccinate sick birds. I already promised today I was going to do the vaccination in the not-so-common way using the syringe. A lot of us just know that one that you open the cap and you put it inside your water. A lot of farmers tend to have issues with their vaccine when they do that method because sometimes when they want to open that iron lid, they tend to remove the, the rubber covering and then most times their vaccine fail because it's exposed. But this other method is kind of easy and safer if you want to try it. Otherwise, that other method is also very, very easy if you are very careful. So we're going to be using a syringe for this method. Um, and then you can see this vaccine was actually bought in the bought earlier and it was stored with ice pack. So when you buy your vaccine, always store it with a ice pack don't just put your vaccine in a place that is hot it will fail do you understand and when you want to do a vaccination use a higher dose like for lasota if you want to do 200 beds please do 300 doses of lasota if you are doing 5,000 beds do 6,000 doses of lasota you see one thing you should know is that this business the law of experiments are done every day and the, the business is evolving even the arteries you buy best from the do experiments so most vets that you go to might just be the one that graduated some years ago I might not really know that some things have actually been have evolved. You understand? So please always use the higher dose of vaccination. You know, just remove the cover. This was the iron lead I was talking about for some people that want to do the other one. You want to remove that iron lead. But for this um this type, you don't need to. You just use your syringe, you extract a bit of the you know the dissolved water, just extract a bit of it, then you inject it inside the vaccine. Are you seeing the way I'm doing this? It's very easy. You just inject it inside the vaccine you just inject it into it and then you shake it for it to dissolve this is me i've injected the liquid into it and i'm just going to shake it are you seeing that before i even injected it the old stuff has dissolved it has dissolved completely the chalk like vaccine stuff has dissolved so you have to extract it back with the syringe all you have to do is extract it back with the syringe. Like I was talking about why you should use a higher dose of, you know, vaccination dosage for your beds is the fact that increased dose of vaccine, it increases their antibody response significantly. What do I mean by that? It improves the performance of the vaccine in the control of that disease. Do you get it increase their antibody when you use a higher dose of the vaccination so when you have 100 beds please use 200 doses of vaccine all of you that is to go and buy the vaccine you will not throw some water away it's wrong use it nothing will happen to your bed this is a 250 dose of vaccine that we're using for 150 doses of, of beds i are going to see that bed you're going to get to see this and nothing will happen so please it is advisable. You can even ask your arteries. They will tell you that it is advisable to use the higher dose of vaccine. And this one, don't just raise your hand and just, you know, extract it back into the water. Make sure your hand is dipped back into the, you know, your water. Don't expose your vaccine out. You know, this vaccine you are talking about is a virus on its own. So don't expose it. As you can see, the way I did it is very, very, very easy. This way, you can share it to your to how many drinkers you want and give it to your bed but dissolve it very well and one thing you should know is that before your vaccination the day of your vaccination always stab your beds for at least two to three hours I me mean, i prefer three hours and above they will not die if you don't give them water if not you want to do your vaccination by 8 a.m you can remove your water by 5 a.m 
Yes, that's what I always advise the farmers in my WhatsApp group. If you want to do vaccination by 8 a.m., remove the water by 5 a.m. They will not die. Nothing will happen. This you, and don't vaccinate in the daytime. You can vaccinate in the morning or in the evening. I, this vaccination was done in the evening because I was actually very busy all day. You understand? So, don't vaccinate in the morning. In the sorry, in when the weather is hot, don't vaccinate in the afternoon. Vaccinate either in the morning or in the evening, please. Well, the next video we're going to be dropping will be the day seven weights and how to calculate your net weight. So please, why have you not followed our page? If you know you like what we're doing and you're enjoying the series, please do just click on the share button. Help us to share our video. Help a farmer out there. This is me giving the best the water. And one thing you should know is the fact that if your bears are starved, they'll finish the water early. And you need to give them water. When you're calculating the water that you should use, when people are always saying, ah, use two liter because it's... calculate the water that your bears can finish in two hours. At most, safe, two hours. But if you want to give them the water they can finish in one hour, one hour, 30 minutes is better. But if the water should stay there, it should not be more than two hours please the next time i'm going to be doing gumbura um, at the 10 what i'm going to use is not going to be that sweet i'm going to use something like four liter or five liter do you understand so it's not going to it's for people that say if you are doing 200 dose use a two liter i don't understand if your beds are big and the two liter will not stay up to like five minutes is that the liter of water you want to use so please as you progress you learn more the next video is going to be the weight and how to calculate your net with the weight of this bed are nice you'll be amazed so please um follow our page apple share video epic farmer out there just click on the share button as you're ready with you if i have a question that is not so clear of what we've said so far please put it on the comment section i will respond to you watch out for the next video the weight of the best thank you god bless